2 Corinthians 5.19 says that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them, and he has committed to us the word of reconciliation. One of the most powerful truths that we could get is this truth right here, that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself. That the reality of this new covenant is that God made a covenant with himself in Christ Jesus, son of God, son of man. And God became a man in Christ Jesus. He united himself with humanity so that humanity could be united to God. He became everything that we were so that we could become everything that he is. He, he has united himself with man in Christ Jesus. And I'm telling you that this covenant or this, this um, work of reconciliation is between the Father and between the Son. God was reconciling humanity in Christ Jesus. God made a covenant with himself in Christ Jesus to unite us to him. This isn't a covenant between uh, himself and you at a personal level. God, uh, Christianity and the gospel is so much bigger than that. It isn't so humanistic. It is God-focused. It is not man-focused. And God reconciled you to himself in Christ Jesus. He is the bridge. He is the way. He is the truth. He is the light. No one comes to the Father except through him. In himself, he has reconciled us to God. He is the covenant-keeping God. We could not keep the covenant ourselves. We were bound in our sin and in our brokenness, and the law only pointed out our extreme failure, that we could never in and of ourselves live the per perfect, righteous requirement of God. But I have good news for you, my friend. Jesus fulfilled it for you. He came and he lived the law. He fulfilled the righteous requirements of God. And then not only that, he died on a cross to pay the penalty and the wage of death that we both deserved and to create a covenant with God himself, God with God. And we have been united when we receive and believe the gospel, we have been reunited into that union and into that covenant that God is keeping with himself. In Colossians 3.3, it says, We have died and our life is hidden with Christ in God. If you can picture it this way, this is us. This is you, humanity and man. We have been bound to sin. We have been bound to breaking the law and not meeting the requirements of God. And we have been placed into Christ Jesus. We have been placed into the pleasing one. Now, when you come and you approach God, you, he, does no longer, he no longer sees you. He sees his son who he has made covenant with. He sees his blood. He sees Christ Jesus in whom is the way and whom is redemption and reconciliation for you. You have been placed into Christ. You have been placed into the pleasing one. So your basis of relationship with God is no longer about your performance, it's about your placement. It's no longer about your efforts, it's about his efforts. It's no longer about your righteousness, it's about his righteousness. You have received Christ Jesus. You are in him and he is in you. Before God, you stand in Christ Jesus. You stand in the righteousness of God. This is our standing. You have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. You have a covenant with God in Christ Jesus. This is good news, my friends. I want to encourage you to remain and to stand in Christ. This is God's passion and obsession to see us rooted and grounded in his son, Christ Jesus, because there is no other basis of righteousness. There is no other place where we have right standing God. There is no other place that we have fellowship with God. There is no other place that we hear the voice of God except the mercy seat of Christ, except the atonement seat of Christ. He is our atoning mercy seat of God, sitting over the laws, sitting over the requirements of God, sitting above them where he speaks and where his blood was sprinkled so we could have fellowship with him. Man, this is good news. So man, I encourage you, you have fellowship with God purely on the basis of Jesus, not on your own performance. God did not make a, make a covenant with you. He made a covenant with his son and you have been placed into Christ. That is good news, my friends, and that is what we stand upon. I bless you in Jesus' name. 
Hey guys, Michael Level here with Love Pursuit International, and I want to encourage you, if you were impacted by the video today, to subscribe to our channel and follow along with us as we release weekly content. Bless you guys in Jesus' name.